Hey everybody, Quad Star tuning again today. Um, we wanted to cover EGT gauge installation. So we got a lot of questions. We sell um, different gauges and the nicer edge monitors. Um, where do you put your EGT probe? Um, if you're not familiar with this, it's pretty easy. Once you've done it once, you'll be an expert. So here we're looking at the passenger side um, of the engine, the exhaust manifold. See, there's the power master starter. Um, the merge collector from where both sides of the exhaust manifold come together and right up here we have a nice flat spot um, we've already drilled and tapped this but we're going to give you the details on how to do this yourself um, what you want to do is uh, you can google what size drill bit do you want to use for an eighth inch national pipe thread tap and that's this guy um, national pipe thread taper um, is pretty standard for all gauges, um, EGT also. Um, so the, the drill bit size for that is 21 64 And the reason you want a specific bit size is so that the tap can cut correctly. So once you've drilled, you know, kind of perpendicular to the plane here, so this is, you know, the thicker boss. We'll try to zoom in a little bit here. Um, hold your drill bit perpendicular. You want to drill a pilot hole first and then step up um, to the 21 64 if it's on the motor, um, you know, we have the turbo off here, so it's a little bit easier that way. I mean, typically something you do when you're upgrading turbos, so you can do it while it's off. You can stuff a rag down in there and use a shop vac to collect any of the pieces. Um, you know, it's, it's not horrible to do it on the truck. Um, some people do it with the truck running. Um, you can grease your tap to collect some of the pieces, but inevitably still some of them are going to get in there, but typically they will just blow out through the turbo chargers. You don't have to worry about it too much. But it is a lot easier to do with the turbo off. So once you've drilled, you want to lube your pipe tap up and cut that hole. Um, you want to, if you're not familiar with pipe thread, you know it, the threads get deeper the farther you go in. So you want to make sure you cut it nicely, but you don't need to jam the tap all the way in because um, you want the fitting to be able to get tight. So we put a little bit of anti-seize on our EGT gauge fitting here screw it in. Just do everything by hand here because you want to make sure it goes in straight and it'll be really loose at first and then it'll be tighter as it goes in. Um, for the video purposes here we're not really going to tighten that the whole way. Uh, we're going to take our EGT probe, slide it in. Um, this particular one has a stop on it. Some of them you can set the depth which we'll show you why that might be helpful here in a second but this one has a preset depth. Um, for the, this one's electronic, you go to the um, edge data logger. Oh, this particular truck's gonna get super 60 on it. So we definitely wanna monitor our EGTs. They won't get very hot typically with that turbo, but we like to log all of our data. So once she's in there, you know, you'll tighten that down obviously for your application, but we're going to take a look from the top side now. And now you can see that, you know, like I said, this one has a preset depth, but if your probe isn't, you know, kind of in the middle is where you want it. But, you know, some applications, you don't want it too shallow and you don't want it too deep because it might actually go and hit the other side of the manifold here. We kind of want it in the middle of the plane so the tip can read the temperature. We'll cinch her down and we're ready to install our turbo. You see our fitting's not, we didn't tap it too deep so the fitting's not really sticking in. We don't we don't want those threads sticking out into the heat. And it's not really important, but we just like to set the depth nicely. So we'll tighten this all down and we are good to go. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.